I always find it quite difficult to understand what a culture of innovation means. I, I can understand a culture of experimentation. That's a bit clearer and a bit more practical. But how do you look at a culture of innovation? Yeah. So I, I think one of the things that's important too is the the difference between like ideas and the difference between like productizing those ideas and actually bringing something to market, right? Uh, and uh, so here's the thing. Um, I think in a lot of companies, and I think this was true at Shopify too, there's no end to the problems to solve, right? There's just infinite problems to solve. Uh, and the question is, which ones are you actually going to put your time and effort into? Uh, and also when you exist, you know, no organization exists as an island. When you have built up an ecosystem and you have partners, for example, and you have competitors and others in the space, right? There's There's things that you sometimes have to say, you know what? This is a great problem. We, you know, we could absolutely work on this. We could build a great solution to it, but we decide we're not going to do it. We decide it's actually better for someone else to work on this, for a partner to work on this, or we'll let a competitor work on this for for whatever reason, right? So, knowing when to say no is an extremely powerful thing. Uh, How do you because, do it? Yeah. So I so I think that. Um, Often organizations start talking about ways to measure the value of something, uh, where, measure uh, whether or something something is succeeding or not. Uh, and so yeah, there's a lot, lot of ways to do that and a lot of talk always about metrics and data and, and analytics and, and so forth. And uh, so measuring impact for an organization is something that, that's uh, pretty tricky. And I think one of the things that's, interesting for businesses too is that of course the traditional way to measure is money right it's like revenue it's like you know profit and and so forth and um, I think in some organizations now they're they're really realizing that's not necessarily the best way to go like you don't start out saying what should we work on today let's figure out the thing that's going to make us the most money right I, ideally what you'd actually do you'd say let's figure out a problem that someone has and let's figure out the best way to solve that and uh, you know, if we can produce a, a fantastic solution and a fantastic experience around that solution for some, you know, for a group of people who have a problem, that they will buy into that, and that the money will come right from that, right? But we don't start out that that way, and I, I think that's a really important sort of more indirect route. And I think also even just that that uh, emphasis on the experience. And if you look at, you know, for example, Apple, and you look at What's happened over the years, say, with the transformation of Microsoft, uh, you know, that's what people have realized, right? Like in the beginning, uh, it, people sort of didn't really understand what Apple were trying to do, right? But so much of what they've done and what they do is all around experience. Uh, and that experience is not just a product, the experience is everything. It's like going to the Apple Store and the App Store and all these other things, right? And uh, that's really the thing that, that engages people. It's not just the singular product and it's not the specifications and, and so forth, right? The technical details, it's it's the overall experience.